I'm okay. doing uh, cavatelli with the langoustin and uh, broccoli. A lovely dish in the middle of the table where everyone grabs as much as they want. Those langoustine look amazing. Beautiful life. Dublin yeah. by langoustine. So yeah. again, Italian cuisine with British produce. Which is beautiful. Brilliant. So I'm going to do sort of Tuscan style lamb, butterfly style, so it cooks that much quicker. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of cut some garlic in sort of thin slices. And I'm going to make little kind of indentations in, in the uh, meat. Put the garlic in. It in flavors the, the meat completely. And then in each one, we're going to put a bit of rosemary, so a little bit of rosemary. Now, you don't need that much because the rosemary and the garlic, you know, is pretty powerful. Yes, they are. And then on top of that, we've got the saltiness, which I'm going to use a bit of anchovy. It's, it's seasoning as they go along because this is a salted anchovy yes, and oil. Of course. Theo carries on studding his lamb and finally seasons with salt, pepper, and a drizzle of olive oil before placing it in a very hot pan. It should have smoked. We want it to really sort of seal, seal off. Yeah. After a few minutes, it's ready to turn and seal on the other side. With the meat browning, Theo turns his attention to the vegetables he'll be serving with his dish. You know, you've got this lovely sort of Florence fennel, that sort of nice. big bulbous fennel. Take the outer bits off, it can be very tough. And I'm going to make a little salsa verde to go with it. So I'm going to keep these little fennel tops, which are actually yeah. really nice, give a nice flavour. And we're just going to cut them into little sort of wedges. So using the stem, like an onion, yeah. shimmer up. And then using the stem, and just cut along so you don't break all those pieces, it stays in yeah, it stays nice together. wedges. Is that? I've got this fella, which is a, a squash. Zucca. Eh? Zucca, or they call it onion squash, because it looks Honestly, a bit like an onion. An onion yeah. I think these are one of the nicest squashes. The reason being, you can use the whole thing. You can use the skin. Yeah, because it's, uh, you know, it's not that thick and stuff. It's know? not that thick, and actually, it kind of, when it cooks, it gets this kind of almost slightly crispy. If you can't find onion squash, you could use butternut. Theo chops the squash into similar sized pieces as the fennel, then slices some peeled new potatoes in half. I've got some carrots which have already been done. And I'm just going to pop some garlic cloves, yeah. whole with, with the skins on to protect it. Yeah. And then I'm just going to pop that into some boiling salty water. The vegetables need to boil for 10 minutes. Back to his lamb, which has now browned. That lamb's looking nicely sealed off. And is ready to go into the oven for 25 minutes at 180 degrees. Time for Francesco to get going with his dish, and he's starting with the pasta dough. What we got is uh, this. What's the pasta called? Uh, cavatelli. Oh, lovely! I love, love cavatelli. I love cavatelli. It, cavatelli, but out of this uh, dough, you can do so many different kinds of pasta. So what I've got here is uh, rimacinato di semola. It's a remilled yeah. semolina flour. Exactly, and yeah. then. Uh, I'm going to put some warm water, which we dissolved some salt already inside. There no and eggs then we at all? Just no uh, eggs at all. Yeah. Just a rimacinato di semola and warm water, and then we mix like that. So you see, is no this... excuse that people say, oh, I can't do pasta because I don't have a pasta machine. No, now you're going to recipe. Make... <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, is this the same as we use for, like, orecchetti? Orecchette, exactly yeah. the same. Yes, Theo. And uh, uh, pasta called filet or fusilli or strascinati and stuff like that, which is very, very, of course, typical from south. Once the dough is mixed, Francesco kneads, then wraps in cling film before resting it in the fridge, leaving him to get started on the pan grattata or breadcrumb topping for his dish. Basically, it's uh, olive oil, garlic, anchovies, chili, and breadcrumbs. I'm going to get out of the pan and leave it to uh, absorb the humidity a bit, and then uh, I'm ready to go. Francesco is confident his handmade cavatelli with longestines is a winning dish, but Theo's hoping his butterflied leg of lamb will get the judges' vote. Who will serve up the perfect ultimate Italian family feast? <laughs>